वट इज लॉ नंबर थ्री ओके देर इज दिस लॉ ओके सो फार वी हैव सीन द बेस वॉज सेम नाउ दिस लॉ वेर वी आर राइटिंग ए टू दावर एम होल्ड टू दावर एन इज इक्वल टू ए टू दावर एम एन ओके दिस इज द अगेन हियर ए इज अ रियल नंबर रियल नंबर एंड एम एन एन आर पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स ओके सो सो वट इज इट सो हाउ डू वी प्रूव इट सो लेट्स प्रूफ प्रूफ हाउ डू प्रूफ लेट्स गिव अस गिव दम अप्रूव सो ए एम टू दावर एन कैन बी रिटर्न एज वॉट a to the power m times a to the power m times a to the power m times how many such a to the power m n times okay which is nothing but a into a into a m times and same structure repeated how many times n times right so this entire thing goes on for how many times n times so if you count How many A's are there in the first bracket? M A's. How many here? M A's. How many here in in all all such brackets? M. And how many such M's are there? N M's are there. So total number of A is M into N. So hence it is A times M into N. Okay, okay. So because this is A into A into A. How many times? M N times. Isn't it? Now, interestingly, if you see a to the power m n can be also written as written as a n m. Yep, because multiplication is commutative, so m into n is equal to n into m. So hence, the same thing can be written as a to the power n to the power m. Right. So what do we learn? A to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m n. Right, example. So let us take example. Two to the power three to the power two is nothing but what? Two to the power six. Right. So you can calculate also. Two to the power three is eight, and eight square is sixty-four. And this also two into two into two into two into two into two, which also will also give you sixty-four. So both are same. Both are same. So it works, isn't it? Similarly, three to the power two to the power, let's say one, is nothing but three to the power two into one, which is three to the power two, which is nine. Okay, minus two to the power two whole to the power four is equal to minus two to the power eight. Okay, so this is equal to if you see this is nothing but four to the power four, and here also it is. Uh, minus two to the power eight is nothing but minus two into minus two into so many times. How many times? Eight times. And in both the cases, you will get two hundred and fifty-six as the answer. Two hundred and fifty-six as the answer. Right? This is law number three. What is law number four? So let us say law number four. Okay. Law number four says. That if a and b are real numbers, real numbers. That is, they can be zero, the one, two, minus three, minus root two, whatever. And m and n are m and n are positive integers. Positive integers. Then what? Then one. Is a b to the power n is equal to a n times b to the power n, and second is a by b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n divided by b to the power n, right? And b certainly cannot be zero because then the operation becomes undefined. In this case, in the second case, okay, you can again easily prove it. A to a b to the power n can be written as a b into a b into a b. How many times? 
n times n times that means a into a into a into n is multiplied by b into b into b how many times n times again so hence it is a to the power n into b to the power n isn't it similarly here also you can see this can be written as a by b times a by b times a by b how many times n times so hence it is in the numerator a into a into a how many times n times divided by b into b into b how many times n times right so it is nothing but a to the power n by b to the power n take an example let's take an example example could be 2 into 3 to the power 2 should be equal to 2 square into 3 square let's check lhs is nothing but 2 into 3 is what 6 square which is 36 rhs 2 square into 3 square is 4 into 9 which is also 36 very good right let's take another example example 2 by 5 let us say to the power 3 should be equal to 2 cube by 5 cube okay so 2 by 5 if you see 2 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 cube must be equal to 8 upon 125 and actually if you see both both will give you 0 0.064 as the answer now this is 0. 064 this is the lhs and here also if you see 8 by 125 is 0 0.064 so both are correct isn't it so hence we saw there are four laws with integral exponents guys so we will also see uh laws of exponents with non-integral that is with fraction coefficient uh sorry fraction exponents as well so after this session we will be doing some uh, problem solving sessions do go through those sessions so to understand these laws in a better way thank you